So thank you guys. Thank you for giving me a couple of minutes to back, talk about this this great, awesome series. I'm already looking forward for season number two. Um, uh, let me start with you, Sydney. Uh, by by watching the series, I can say that I learned a lot about about culture, about traditions, about family, because it felt genuine. Without it, it, it didn't feel. Uh, it doesn't feel forced. What was your experience? What can you say that you learned during the process about these specific topics that this series presents? Yeah, I, I completely agree that there there is endless amounts of things I learned, I think. But I, I think something that the show does really well is it's it's written in a way that does feel so authentic and just like um, a very honest experience. So it's, I don't want to say sp- spoon fed to people who don't have that experience but it uh-huh. definitely isn't um like attacking or demeaning and it's it helps mm-hmm. other people that didn't experience that understand really well without making anyone feel um like uneducated or or not prejudiced and not knowing but mm-hmm. oh, really it walks well. the line really well and i feel so much ride and being in the show and being a part of something that was as wonderful as it was but i i think that i i learned endless amounts excellent thank you for that and i agree 100 with you so so ben i, ben, I don't want to be cut short short so i'm going to start right away with this question as a puerto rican i have to ask you about the despacito sequence uh <laughs> there's two <laughs> there's two great puerto rican artists on this international song so did you yes. know about the song and what was it like learning it and and dancing to it This, I mean, I that song is I that song has I don't want to say haunted me for my entire life. A lot of effort into learning it. I've like been, wrote down the lyrics on a notepad. It's, and... it's true. I have it in my. I might even have it. Yeah, I, I like all the lyrics. I was like drilling it because they told me. You know, it was originally supposed to be a different song, but I guess you know at the last moment they're like, okay, we have to change it. And the uh, the director called me. It was like, okay, in three days you're gonna have to sing all of Despacito. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> in Spanish, and I was like, uh, okay, cool, 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 uh, cool, cool, cool. Um, <laughs> you killed it, though. Uh, yeah, you killed it. You you did awesome with the song. It was so wrote, it was wrote <laughs> memorization. Um, in fact, I don't think I'll ever not know the lyrics ever It's again. In you forever. Yoro respira tu cuello despacito. <laughs> Excellent. Love what you did with the song. So so, uh, let me ask you, Cindy. I can st- I, I, I can stop. I cannot. I have to ask you about about working with Michelle and Ki Hyu Kwan. I guess the series was already filmed when you were both nominated. When they were both nominated, and I eventually won the Oscars. How how was that experience? Uh, how did you experience that process and all the noise that was created around them working with two uh, um, Academy Award winners? Yeah, I mean, you know, they've always been incredible actors, and and I I've and yeah, and people, and we've always known that. But we, for for me, and I feel like for everybody in the cast. Mm-hmm. It wasn't them. We kind of had like a front row seat. I don't, sorry, that was redundant. We kind of had a front row seat to like watching there because when they had, were cast in the show, um, uh, everything everywhere all at once hadn't come out yet. Right. And nobody knew about it. It wasn't on anyone's radars, right? Because it's this little weird little indie movie that was about to come out. And I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know that, you know, it, that it existed um, mm-hmm. until Key invited the crew to a screening which is such a key thing to do, right? He invited everyone, everyone on the crew. And we all went and crammed in this theater and watched like the most amazing movie and I've ever seen And then me and Ben cried life. through it because yeah. it was too good. We were like, oh my God. Um, and we we all had, we all have a sort of a front row seat because like every few months I'd see them again for press or something. And every time uh-huh. I see them, it's like they have a new award or, they, <laughs> <laughs> or, they, or you know, their, their movie is now the highest, you know, grossing A24 movie of all time or whatever. It's like every time I see them, they're, they're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's been such a joy to watch them get what I believe they've always deserved, yeah. which is um, the, the adoration of the world. <laughs> Excellent, guy. Thank you so much. My time is up. So I hope that next time we, we had the chance to talk, you have your own awards and, you know, we celebrate it with you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. And thank again, you. looking forward for season number two. Bye bye.